Hello and welcome back guys to our channel. So now I'm going to show you the latest web frameworks that I am trying to learn. This is called Blazor. Blazor is a free and open source web framework that enables developers to create web apps using C Sharp and HTML. And because of the web assembly, it enables us to use C Sharp on our web browser. So instead of using JavaScript, we can use C Sharp on our web browsers. Okay, it is being developed by Microsoft. This Blazor server was released as part of .NET Core 3 and now the current version is .NET Core 3.1. So I am still learning this framework, so bear with me and let's learn together. So let's try to access first the official website for Blazor. So it is under Microsoft. So let's search it in Google. Blazor. Then this one. .net. .microsoft.com. Apps. ASP.net. Web apps. Blazor. So let's just click this one. So this is the website for Blazor. So these are the few details about uh, Blazor. It is interactive web UI with C Sharp run on web assembly or server built on open web standards share code and libraries javascript and terap free tools for every operating system so it is not limited only for windows so you can also use it in linux and mac os ui components ecosystem open source and free so currently the source code for blazor is under github so if we want to contribute on this uh, project you can do so I can access it through github before we can use blazor we need to set up some few things first one we need to install the .NET Core 3.1 SDK and the next thing that we need to set up is the blazor WebAssembly template which is the one that we're going to use for this video so to install this blazor WebAssembly template you just need to copy this and we need to paste it and run it using command prompt or powershell so after setting up these two things we can now use either visual studio visual studio code visual studio for mac or .NET core client so, but for this video we're just going to use visual studio 2019 okay so let's get started and open up our visual studio Okay, so let's create new project. So here we can see the Blazor app template. So we just need to click this. Then click next. And then set a name, Blazor app. Oops. So I will put it in D, my drive D, create. So for the template, the template that we're going to use is Blazor WebAssembly app and let's just click ASP.NET Core Hosted and create. Okay, so for the Blazor project, so by default it will create three projects for us. So let's just wait for it to finish. So these are the three projects that I mentioned earlier. So we have here the client the server and the shared so if you are familiar with ASP.NET MVC it's almost the same so but it's just separated so we have here the shared we can put all of our models and we have here the server so which is our API from where our controller we will put our controller and at the same time we have here our client from where we can put our views but for this blazor we have here pages but instead of uh, pages html we have here that tracer which means this is a blazor component so it's a component based just like with angular and react.js so mostly we need to create components so instead of html files 
so there is only one html file here so which is under www.root so which here this one index click okay so here under index.html we have here the css that we're going to use for our application html tags and we have here the loading app so when our app is still loading this is the element that we're going to see okay so aside of that we have here the pages so let's just click the index so mean index this is the first page that we're going to see once we load up our application so that's why if you notice here page so slash this means it is the home page so let's check the counter you can see it is la slash counter so meaning if we access our website with the localhost that port and slash counter this will access this page and at the same time we also have this fetch data okay so just like with MVC we also have shared we have the main layout so this is the main content of our page so meaning this will only change the body just like with MVC okay so this in under this body it will load up either any of our pages here either the index which is the home page the counter or the fetch data so aside from that we also have here nav menu bar okay so for here this is the navigation menu and this survey prompt so if you notice under index we have here the survey prompt which is this component survey prompt okay let's try to fire up our application just choose this one to server run okay as you can see that's the loading page so this is our blazer application so as i said it will load up first the index so let's go back to our source code can see this is our index so hello world hello world and it loads the webcam here on the app and then the survey prompt which is contains how is blazer working for you so let's go to the survey prompt uh, component so here we have here a code block this is the one that i mentioned earlier that we can use c sharp on our pages so instead of javascript so we use a code block from where we can put our c sharp codes so for this instance we are passing a parameter which is the title and this title we can use it inside our html elements so we can use it by adding an assign which is the resource syntax and then followed by the variable or parameter variable which is the title okay so this component makes it more reusable and can be used to any pages or any component within our application so if we wanted to use the survey prompt we can use it also on counter so let's try to do that and paste it here but let's change the value I am a survey from from counter. Okay, so here is the home. So if we go to the counter page, you can see the survey prompt is also showing but with different text, which is the one that we type on our counter page. Okay. So as you notice, it's the, uh, aside from variables and parameters, we can also add some functions inside our code block. Just like for this one, it is a private void increment count, which just increment the current count uh, variable, so which is an integer. So it will just increment by one every time we call this method. So this method is being called by a button which is this one once we click the click me it will increase the value of this variable 
for this variable we also display this current count and we can call by using also a racer command which is at on tick equals to okay so every time we click just click me so as you can see the value increment by one so which is calling this one so now let's move on to the next page which is the fetch data as you can see it's loading a data into a table so let's go to the source code so this fetch data page is calling an api which is uh, doing a http get json async which is weather forecast so this weather forecast is a model this model we can find it under shared so as i mentioned earlier we can put all our models under shared so everything that we wanted to share to server and client we need to put it under shared so for this instance we use or uh, we created a model weather forecast that can be used under client which is under fetch data and at the same time it is also being used on the server controller which is the weather forecast controller from where it is being called under fetch data using an api call so as you can see it will call weather forecast so if we go to our weather forecast controller in our server project so we have here the name weather forecast okay so the controller is just ignored so it is a control base so it will call this get function from where it will create a or an array data which is based on this summaries so it will create a weather forecast data so after we created the weather forecast data so it will be returned to our caller which is the fetch data so after it is sends back a data from our API it will now be assigned to this variable which is the forecast variable so now after the data is loaded on forecast so it will automatically reflect on our table which is this one so it's just something like a normal thing that we do on our ASP.NBC and on our c -sharp drawing we do a for each to a array okay so all of this is based on the weather forecast model so another thing that we can discuss is this app racer so basically this is the first thing that will be called by our index so which is this one I see there's an app here so it will call this app racer which will call the main layout okay so under main layout so it will call the nav menu and also the body which will call the page so what if this home page so with what if we don't have a home page so for example we put home here so as you notice here on our app razor so there is a not found so meaning if the page is not found so it will show this error or something with this html tag which is sorry there's nothing at this address so let's try to show it let's run so as you can see it is not because since we don't have a home page for the slash local host slash it shows the story there's nothing at this address but if we type slash home so it will display the index razor which is this one because we put slash home on our page okay so that's it for this video so on our next video we will just create a simple application with basic functionality to add edit and delete data into a sql server 2019 
so hopefully i can see you in the next video and thank you very much for watching don't forget to click like share and subscribe thanks a lot bye